Howdy boys and girls. I uh, wanted to go over a minute of angle and try and simplify it a little bit. There's been some conversations lately about trying to understand minute of angle. Uh, and people are way over complicating it in my opinion. Uh, it, it really is a simple concept. Once somebody, once you take the time to, un, to simplify it and take away all the, the, the overdone math and all that, what you have to understand is the minute of angle is a very useful tool, but if you're, we're not talking about sniper precision or, you know, the the big trigonometry problems and all that. We're going to simplify it for use, you know, generalized use for a hunter, for you know, somebody just trying to get some decent level marksmanship and truly understand what the term means. To understand minute of angle, you have to understand. It's based on the concept of a circle. Uh, a lot of people like to think of it as a slice of a pie. So as you look at the concept of a circle, you have to understand there are 360 degrees in a circle. Uh, pretty simple concept, most people know that. So in that 360 degree circle, what you have to understand is one degree equals 60 minutes of arc. Picture that as the slice of the pie. Nothing in, the, nothing at the very center of the circle, and out at the end of the whatever your circle happens to be, which would be the distance of your target. That is your one degree of arc. Uh, so now we know that we're basically dealing with that slice of pie concept. So in a full circle, 360 degrees, you have. 60 minutes per degree or 60 of those individual arcs per degree which gives you 21,600 minutes of angle in an entire circle okay so now <clears throat> under th that's all kind of irrelevant but you really need to know what how we get to the sum of the terminology you don't need to know how many degrees are in you don't need to remember all that it's just uh, that's knowledge for understanding the terms and where they come from <clears throat> now the circumference of a circle is figured out by 2 pi times the radius uh, everybody knows pi from school or you know the teacher gave extra credit to whoever could remember pi the furthest distance again you don't really need to know what pi is and be able to understand it. You just have to understand just for the sake of knowing that that is what the circumference of a circle equals. Uh, again, not math that you need to try and remember. Just that's knowledge for the conversation. Okay. With 21,600 minutes of angle and the entire circumference of that circle what you have to understand is one minute equals point zero 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 two nine zero eight of the radius. Uh, again, not math that you really need to understand. Just building up to the part that is usable by the end, by the by the shooter. So, what we need to truly understand, and this is where it builds into the shooting world, is one minute of angle in a 100 yards is 1.047 inches uh, and you get that by taking that one circumference and multiplying it by the 3600 uh, inches that equals 100 yards so now we have one of the numbers we need which is at 1.047 inches now for the sake of the math as far as minute of angle so if at 100 yards you have that 1.047 inches which is one minute of angle at 100 yards at 500 yards now we're talking about 5.235 inches or at a thousand yards 10.47 inches uh, that is the breakup as you increase the distance each minute of angle adds that same number to the last so minute of angle at 200 yards would be uh, I didn't do the math 
about 2.54 inches close enough and, and see that's where the simplification comes in instead of trying to do that math we simplify it where at 600 yards would be 6.282 inches but if you just simplify the uh, and that was actually supposed to be a test question for you guys, sorry. Uh, <laughs> you simplify it to one minute of angle equals one inch at 100 yards. That's close enough for any level of shooting you're ever going to do. Uh, short of taking, you know, trying to overlap holes at 1,000 yards, you really need to get into the math. But if you're really trying to do that, you wouldn't be watching this video because you already understand minute of angle. Uh, if you're getting into extreme long ranges, yeah, you probably want to use that 1.047 to get a little bit closer. But for the average hunter that's taking four, five, six, seven hundred yard shots, one inch at a hundred yards is what you need to understand. That will translate one inch at a hundred yards, two inches at 200, three inches at 300, so on and so forth. So if we've broken that down to that one inch at a hundred yards, if you are shooting a four inch group at a hundred yards that same firearm is going to be capable of not much better than a 20 inch group at 500 yards or a 32 inch group at 800 yards that's just how you want to round it one inch at a hundred two inches at two three inches at three so on and so forth so how we're going to get to understanding what that minute of angle is is a, a very simple math problem. You're going to take your minute of angle, which we're going to say for the sake of argument is 4 inches at 100 yards. You multiply that by the 800 yards and you get 3200. Take that 3200, divide that by 100, and now we know it's 32 inches at 800 yards again we can simplify that math a little bit more you know uh, uh, rounding is uh, basic math principles uh, you put a decimal point on that 800 yards and turn it into essentially eight yards and then you subtract two of those zeros off that 32 now we're gonna get four times eight equals 32 pretty simple math uh, really I mean it is truly that simplified math so by understanding that turn it in into a simple equation if we know we're shooting four inches at 100 yards and we want to know what that variance is going to be at 800 yards you take that four inches multiply it by eight get that 32 that means that if you're shooting four inches high or four inches low at 100 yards which is four minutes of angle at 100 yards you're going to be either 32 inches high or 32 inches low now we aren't talking about ballistic coefficients and bullet drops and muzzle velocities I'm gonna do another video on that and how and how that all works into the equation this is just supposed to be a really quick simple video to try and explain the basics of minute of angle uh, and basically because of people and adjusting their scopes this whole video came about I was at the range today and a guy trying to sight in his rifle and just could not understand you know he he's off on his target five in, or four inches and you know he's moving the scope four clicks and he's not getting his defined bullet impact well the scope he had was quarter inch at a hundred yards which means one click on the scope moved that bullet impact or the or the what you actually see in the scope one quarter of an inch at a hundred yards so if that one click is a quarter of an inch at 100 yards as the same applies to the minute of angle one click a quarter inch click at 100 yards is a half an inch at 200 yards three quarters of an inch at 300 yards or a full inch at 400 yards 800 yards one click equals two inches at a thousand yards one click on a quarter inch scope is two and a half inches of bullet movement make sense so if we need to know how many minutes a known measurement is at a distance you can do that math too so you take the known size of a target different animals are different sizes you know if you're shooting at a deer it's a pro you know the average whitetail is 32 to 36 inches long you know tall 
uh, which I guess I should have changed uh, the quick little math here and used 32 inches. But if you know your average deer, we're gonna say for because it's the math I put on the equation, happened to be 21 inches tall, and you knew that, and you're looking at it, and you know you're about to take a, a 700 yard shot, and you need to know how many minutes to put on your scope. Well, 21 inches at 700 yards is three minutes of angle because 21 divided by 7 is 3. You know, you, you could go with the, uh, you know, trying to figure in, you know, how many inches there is in, in yards. And, but, but why make the math more difficult? 21 inches divided by 7 yards, 3 minutes of angle. So, uh, just a basic rundown on minute of angle. This was by no means trying to turn anybody into an exer expert. Uh, just quick breakdown. Uh, I'm going to make another little presentation on the uh, trying to understand bullet drop and what you need to know about uh, ballistic coefficients and how to do quick little math. I would suggest uh, if you're going to do any kind of real shooting, uh, look into a ballistics computer. There, there are a lot of help. You can get some for like iPhones and Androids. You can download them. I can tell you from trying the different free ones, you're getting what you're paying for. Uh, the one I use is called, uh, I believe it's called iSnipe. Let me get it open here and I'll tell you. Yeah, iSnipe. Uh, it's, a, it's an iPhone app. Really, really good ballistics calculator. But uh, that will help you a long way in your shooting. Uh, another good trick is simply take and once you figure out what your bullet drops are for your gun and you can build yourself a quick little minute of angle chart and put it on a little piece of paper and find a place on your gun. You know, if you've got a you know, really nice piece of walnut on a gun, I don't know what I would tape. Uh, tape a piece of paper, but you know, synthetic stock guns, take yourself some packing tape print that out nice neat and pretty put it on uh, the same side that you cheek weld your gun well, if you're right handed be on the left side of the stock and uh, that way you, get, you always have that little quick reference guide but just some tips and tricks and uh, my name is Mac I'm with Double Tap Shooting and I really appreciate you guys watching I hope you hope it helps somebody uh, don't forget to thumbs up like and subscribe all that stuff and uh, if you've got any questions go ahead and ask them I'll try to answer them if I can't answer them I'll sure point you to somebody that can. Appreciate you guys watching and have a good day.